If you haven't seen my video with the crossbow tests on the same armor or want to refresh your memory, the link will be in the description down below. In that video I also talk more about this type of armor in general. There's also one about the flintlock musket that I'm using in this video. And if you'd like to help keep this channel running, you can check out my Patreon page. Just about missed the slow-mo recording by half a second. Just a charred patch flying around. Looks like we might have been a little slow to get to the camera in time. So I expected this to go through, but wow, this is... That's a lot of damage. That's a huge hole. That is way larger than the diameter of the round balls. That had no chance. This breastplate seems so strong against the crossbow, but this makes it look flimsy. This type of breastplate is of course not designed for use against firearms. Later breastplates were made a lot thicker to withstand gunfire. This is too early for that. So that one we didn't catch on the slow-mo camera. But this was interesting. So because of the curvature, it did actually manage to deflect that one. The only problem is it comes up and then it will probably still go in the neck or head. So still not ideal. Well, from a greater distance, it can actually stop it. There's the ball right there. All crushed. 